Hey y'all, Robert Martin Lees here. Now we're just going to touch on a couple of the huge, big contributing factors that end up in poor communication problems. Now having that one we want to build a life with, we get to use many different forms of communication gestures like touching, verbal communication, body language, along with many others that are deemed to be common. Do you use any of these in your relationship and it still feels like your communication with your spouse should and could be better? I have to guess it is and that's why you're watching her. Huh? The biggest downfall of failing to talk with people, especially those close to you, is not the message you are trying to relay, but usually the way it is being interpreted. We as individuals have to make sure that when we do communicate with our spouses that we send clear signals without conflict to get our message through. To become effective with doing this, we must gain a little understanding in regards to how we say things. The prime examples what I mean here, and this was me and many others I have been witness to, are the common inbred statements that we include in our words. You always are. You do this. Or you do that. You're to blame. I blame you. You. Or you need to change this. Or you need to do that. This sound familiar? Now that you word is up there in regards to negative psychological power and is almost immediately triggers the receiver's defense mechanism. So if you see some similarities there, don't beat yourself up about it. This is overlooked throughout our world, but can easily be changed. I will explain the simple counteractive technique for you now. I feel that the art of effective communication is more important than teaching trigonometry. The following two statements have the same meaning, but check out how differently they could be understood. Now, I think positive communication will benefit my child, would get more attention than you buggers are not teaching our kids to live happy. Now, I statements are the simple counteractive technique to the misuse of that word, you. And it helps with obtaining the all-important rule of think before you speak. So you can be sure to leave your spouse with something to think about rather than something to defend. To be successful, and how you communicate with your spouse, I think we need to be truthful and honest with our feelings and say what we mean and offer reassurance to the understanding of what we are trying to get across. Now misinterpretation is another huge downfall with being able to have a pleasant conversation with your spouse rather than guessing what your spouse is trying to explain. When this is apparent, simply relay back your understanding to see if you got what it is they are actually trying to mean a meaning. Now, I love my wife and I have zero regret for learning how to communicate with your spouse effectively. Among many other soul bonding, simple love life techniques. If you think you need more, don't hesitate to look at the description for this video to some resource links and another little spiel on better communication. And if you did get any little bit of good out of this video, please click the like button, share it with your friends and family, and if you're new, don't hesitate to subscribe for some future videos that are upcoming thanks for watching and i hope you
enjoy